You might have heard people say that pets tend to resemble their owners, although unless you happen to be energetic, furry, and sport a wagging tail, you may disagree with the idea as it applies to you and your dog. But what about the kind of resemblance that is more than skin deep? Is it possible for your personality to influence your dog's personality? If that's the case, does that mean that you're to blame whenever they chew your shoes or dig up the garden? If your doggo could talk, would you find them on a therapist's couch, covering it in hair, and talking about how all their problems can be traced to the time you didn't let them eat food off your plate? How much of your dog's nature is innate, and how much of it comes from how you raise them? In this video, we're going to tackle the question of nature versus nurture as it applies to our canine friends, looking at four ways in which your dog's personality can be influenced by your own. But before we dive in, why not subscribe for more videos on how to understand your dog? Do humans influence their dog's personalities? First, the million dollar question. Does your personality have any real influence over the personality of your dog? You might think that you and your furry friend are like chalk and cheese. You like hanging out with friends and watching informative YouTube videos about dogs and going for long walks on the beach, while their hobbies include fetching, running, playing, and the occasional snooze. Their ideal meal is a bowl of kibble or a chewy treat, while you'd really prefer a pizza. What could the two of you have in common? Well, science says you could be more alike than you'd think. In a study of over 3,000 people and their dogs, researchers put dog owners through personality tests to measure how they tested in terms of extroversion, openness, agreeableness, conscientiousness, and neuroticism. They then studied the behaviors of their dogs. The results of this survey showed a significant correlation between the personalities of the dog owners as judged by the tests and the behavior of their pets. A person who came up as highly neurotic on the test, for example, was likely to have a dog who exhibited a lot of anxious behaviors. A person who was rated as being very extroverted, on the other hand, was likely to have a more confident doggo. But how exactly does a human's personality influence their dog? Here are some of the ways in which your personality and behavior can have a significant impact on your fur baby. Number 1. Fear Factor in the wild, the ancestors of our pampered pets would have to contend with everything from larger predators to challenging terrains. Their alertness is a hard-earned evolutionary advantage. You've probably had the experience of accidentally dropping something while your dog reacts as if it were a major threat. Or maybe you've seen those videos online of dogs barking or jumping at inanimate objects like they're dangerous intruders. Dogs can be scared of a lot of weird stuff, but did you know that they can also pick up on your fears? Our dogs see us as important members of their social group, which means that they look to us to see whether strange situations are safe or dangerous. If the human is confident and happy with what's going on, then the dog is more likely to assume that things are safe. If the human is noticeably anxious, however, and our dogs are far better at picking up on our emotions than you might think, then they're more likely to be anxious in turn. This doesn't mean that your dog is necessarily scared of you, or that they think you're likely to be mean to them. Dogs are just naturally wary of anything that feels unpredictable or disrupts their routine, and humans who are anxious are more likely to behave in unpredictable ways. Number 2. Raising them right If you have your dog from when they're a very young puppy, then how you raise them will have a huge influence on their future personality. A doggo who has positive and friendly encounters with humans in early puppyhood will grow up to be a friendly and personable dog. A dog who doesn't have these experiences could end up never being fully confident around humans. As such, if a dog in your care has puppies, then you have a responsibility to make sure that they are properly socialized to human contact before they are eight weeks old, to ensure that they can become good house pets when they are old enough. Adult dogs are more likely to like, or at least tolerate, sights, sounds, and smells that they first experienced in puppyhood. 
Because of this, good breeders will usually introduce their puppies to a variety of people of different ages and appearances, and recordings of common household sounds, so as to ensure that they won't be nervous about anything they're likely to encounter in their forever homes. But it also means that your puppies are likely to grow up being more familiar with, and therefore more amenable to, sounds, smells, objects and activities that you personally like, because those are the things that you will choose to do and have around your home. If you like cats, for example, the dog your puppies grows into will be more likely to get on with cats as well. Number 3. Keeping Fit Is your dog a furry bundle of boundless energy, or are they more of a relaxed couch potato? You might think that the difference is primarily down to your dog's innate personality, but your dog's activity levels are actually something you can influence. Some dogs will be more playful than others, and a dog's energy levels will usually go down as they get older, much like how adult humans tend to be less energetic than little kids. But the biggest decider for how active your doggo is will likely be whether you take the time to play with them regularly or not. Even if your dog has access to toys that they can use to play by themselves, solo play isn't nearly as motivating as the prospect of getting to play with their favorite human. Something as simple as tossing a ball or a frisbee for your dog to chase can be the first step towards making your dog more interested in getting exercise. This will then ensure that their muscles are getting a proper workout on a regular basis, reducing their chances of developing health conditions later in life that could make it harder for them to exercise, which could then lead to them becoming overweight. Essentially, if you make the effort to get your dog up and moving, then your pooch is more likely to put in their own effort to stay active. Number 4. Shadow Pups You might have noticed that your dog always wants to snuggle next to you when you're watching your favorite movie, or is constantly begging for scraps when you're eating your favorite food. Our furry friends are unlikely to have developed any strong artistic or culinary opinions about these things, but they're likely to favor things that you enjoy because they associate them with you being happy. A happy human is, after all, a human who is more likely to be up for cuddles. Watching TV, for example, isn't an activity that your dog can really enjoy on their own. Not only are they unlikely to understand the plots, but they can't actually process images the way we do, so they probably don't know what they're looking at most of the time. However, they do know that the TV being on means that the human is going to be sitting down and available for cuddles for at least the next hour or so. Because of these associations, watching TV becomes an activity that your dog enjoys purely because you enjoy it. Dogs also naturally engage in a behavior called mirroring. This is when they try to mimic the behavior of people or animals in their social group in an attempt to strengthen social bonds. This is likely why your dog is always trying to grab your food at dinner time. You're eating, so they want to be eating too. Feeding them their own dog food at human mealtime can sometimes help make them feel included and distract them from begging for table scraps. Did you know that where exactly your dog chooses to sleep says a lot about your relationship? Check out this video to find out what your dog's sleep spot reveals about their feelings towards you.